Two years later, and the pain is still raw at the Azana Spa in Brookfield. Tonight, a candlelit vigil was held, or candlelight vigil was held for all victims of domestic violence. Steve Shamrez was at that somber event, and he joins us live now from Brookfield. Steve? Courtney, this vigil brought together those touched by the violence here at Azana as well as violence victims from all over. Together, they pooled their strength to help prevent more victims of domestic violence. As three candles were passed around the room, victims and survivors of domestic violence choked back tears, including the brother of one of the women killed at Azana Spa two years ago. It brings back a lot of bad, ugly memories. Elvin Daniel lost his sister, Zena, when her estranged husband stormed the salon and started shooting. Three people were killed, four more wounded. The distance from that day has made Elvin Daniel's loss only a little easier to bear. A life will never be the same without her around. I mean, especially around holidays, Thanksgiving, particularly is difficult. Also mourning a loss tonight, the parents of Erin Zemendorf. She is the Kenosha woman killed by her boyfriend last October and left in Chicago in the trunk of a car. Darlene and John Zemendorf hope their daughter's death serves as a warning. You have to leave and get away as soon as possible because it's not going to get any better. Elvin Daniel is also determined to make his sister's murder count for something. He'll continue to fight to close a loophole in gun laws that allowed Zena's killer to dodge a background check that might have stopped him from buying the gun that ended her life. I've always said Zena was full of goodness and some good will come out of her death. Elvin Daniel also working to raise money to support those four people who were shot and survived at Azana. They live with the terrible memories of that day for the rest of their lives. In Brookfield, Steve Shamraz, today's TMJ4. Okay, Steve, thank you. And if you are a victim of domestic violence or you know someone who needs help, today's TMJ4 is here to help. Volunteers from local women's shelters will be at our station Monday, taking calls between 3 and 7 p.m.